So I'm down in Pepper Mill in my constituency where this weekend uh, the Edinburgh tournament is taking place where there's going to be thousands of young football players from across Scotland and beyond uh, all playing football. And I'm here with Scott, who's one of the organisers. Just wondering, just tell me kind of roughly the scale of this. How, how many players are going to be playing over this weekend? Uh, so the weekend, uh, we expect around about 4,500 players uh, over the weekend. Uh, which is uh, which is a lot of children, um, maybe slightly less, but it's in around that area every year. And uh, yeah, it's spectacular having so many kids from under sevens all the way under sixteen, both boys and girls. Fantastic. So if it's four and a half thousand players and they're bringing their parents, that's going to be over ten thousand people. Do you reckon yeah. they'll be through the gates through the weekend? Is that right? Right. Oh, it's, it's emotional. It's hard work, but it's, it's worth it seeing all their smile faces. And yeah, it's it's a mammoth task and having a great team and. Uh, volunteers and, and having a great facility and all the guys around us, it's great. It, is, it works great. So, so could you just tell me how you got started, how long you've been going and, and, and kind of what, what, what got it all kicked off, if you don't mind that pun? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, so technically it started a few years back in 2013 well, as a business, uh, a, a social enterprise, actually I was homeless at the time, right. unemployed, living just wherever, and then eventually had this idea of, of running a, a, a football uh, class within the school. Yeah. Uh, deliver free football programmes and then over the years it morphed into an event organisation where I thought it was quite important to offer opportunities for people around the UK and, and further afield to travel and really in 2017 we really started the tournament side of it and uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's grown every year um, from I think originally it was like maybe 100 teams maybe maximum now we're four and a half uh, sorry four 450 teams now, which is a lot of teams. Um, That's an incredible story, a real sort of story of football bringing people together. I mean, what what do you think the sort of the next steps are? What what does the future hold, and kind of what what things are you looking for next? Yeah, so I think obviously we want to keep growing the event uh, to other parts of the city um, and and bringing other communities together and using the facilities and working together. So we have a lot of volunteers that are from Craig Miller and from Edinburgh and all different areas um, and. We obviously having it in different venues, kind of grasp that community to be part of the event as well. And we expect, and hopefully over the next few years, that this will be one of the biggest events, if not in the UK, part of Europe anyway, because there's a lot of kids. But that's our, that's our plan and hopes to, to, to go to that level in, in the next few years. So, yeah. Well, look, thanks, Scott, very much for inviting me down. It's brilliant to see all of this happening here. I know how important football is to South Edinburgh. I'm just hoping nobody actually asked me to kick a football around because yeah. I'll be radically uh, bring down the standard uh, of football being played here. But look, this is great and it's uh, going to be great to having all of these uh, people in South Edinburgh uh, playing football together. So oh, thank, you. Oh, thank you. So the Edinburgh Tournament was founded as a social enterprise. And what is uh, really interesting for me is just how uh, powerful it has been bringing people together through football uh, providing opportunity to young people, but also this is uh, an organisation which works very closely with homeless people as well. But they clearly uh, need to go further. This venue is uh, only just big enough. They could do much more if they had access to bigger venues, a stadium. There's real ambition for a bigger opening ceremony uh, to do things bigger, better, more opportunity for young people, more opportunity to help other people. And I'm really keen to see what I can do to, to, to help them achieve those things.